To do we now with our lead story, can the national media cover Donald Trump with any fairness at all? Joining us from Washington, Bob Woodward, associate editor at the Washington Post. So first of all, am I making any mistakes in my analysis of the New York Times article, Mr. Woodward? Well, it's not a matter of mistakes. I think this is not one of the New York Times' best stories. Uh, I think they've done lots of really good stories. I think we're all better off that the New York Times uh, is in there uh, investigating and uh, analyzing and reporting on both of these candidates. As you know, it was the New York Times that really exposed Hillary Clinton's emails in a, a very significant way. So, uh, at, at, at the same time, in, in terms of uh, the points you were making, the public is smarter than we think. They can read a story like the New York Times story, see the playback when one of the characters or a number of them comes forward and says, wait a minute, that isn't what I meant, uh, my words were twisted. And uh, so in a, in a real way, uh, I think the public can smoke this out. See, I disagree. Uh, when, I, don't, I don't think the public can. And it takes no, an enormous amount can. of time to do that. You would have to read the article, then watch cable news, then figure out who the players were. But let's get to the specifics. All right, so sure. I, I raised two questions about the reporters. The first guy, Barbaro, tweeted anti-Trump stuff. You're an editor. You let that guy report on Trump? Well, I don't know exactly what it was. I know he's done some very good stories, as I say. Oh, just, this, just trust me on this. He tweeted, because <laughs> we have yeah. the tweets. He yeah, tweeted what, some what did they snarky, say? Let's it was specific. more snarky than, than, than anything else. But it was clear that he doesn't like Trump. Would you, as an editor, allow him to report on Trump? I, I would look at that, and if they were uh, inappropriate, of, of course you wouldn't want to. Right. Look, I look, mean, look, it's we're snarky. In. I just wanted to get your judgment. As I said, you're what? a legendary guy. The second <laughs> one is more problematic. She's a feminist. Trump is a beauty contestant purveyor. Do you let a feminist report on a beauty contestant person who's now turned politician? Well, of, of course, that's, that doesn't condemn somebody and, and say they can't report on X or Y. Uh, somebody is a conservative or a liberal, uh, that doesn't mean they can't report. Uh, as we learn over the decades, the best reporters may have feelings and personal conclusions, and they can edit those and filter those things out. Well, maybe so, but there were, a lot of emo there were a lot of charged words in that article. All right. Yeah, the, I didn't think it was, was one, one of, the of their but, 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 wait, finest wait, 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 articles. Wait, wait, okay. If I'm an editor, and, and I know there's a feminist woman in my newsroom who's brilliant, because I think this woman is an excellent reporter, I don't let her report on a guy like Trump, because Trump is the antithesis of that. And so I don't, want a, I don't want any margin of error here. There are plenty of reporters who could do the story. Do you, do you not see that? Uh, yeah, look, I, I really disagree. All uh, right. People, they're, all kind of, they're feminists on the left and the right, as you know. And somebody can put their personal feelings and conclusions in their back pocket and keep them I there. guess it's possible. This, this story I, I clearly... I haven't seen it much, but I guess it's possible. Okay, but, but it... it it can happen, and the the smartest, most careful, most experienced reporters uh, know that. Okay, but now, it wasn't the, done what in this you're case. on to, if if I may say this, I think you there is an anti-Trump climate uh, in the news business. I think uh, there also is an anti-Hillary Clinton climate. Not in as the extensive news. though, and not as personal. So let's well, get to you, the Washington Post, because you made headlines about a week ago with saying you're going to have. A, a squad of guys and gals going out to look at Trump, and I'm sure you'll do the same with Hillary Clinton. Both candidates have a lot um, that people would like to know, so they're worthy articles. But I gotta say, you know, I've read the Post editorials that Washington Post despises Donald Trump on the editorial page. They despise the man. So but it's, it's going to be very tough for you guys to be fair. Oh well, well, there's a, really a Chinese wall, and the the news. Uh, side really, I mean, I know these editors. I work with them. Bob Costa uh, at the Washington Post probably knows Trump and the Trump operation as well as anyone. He can be tough, but he's fair. Six weeks ago, uh, Costa and I interviewed Trump, 
And you know, this 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 guy Cost is 30 years old, and he has absorbed so much. He's he's tough-minded. Uh, but and and this is the quality which I the think is often is missing. Years old. Uh, no, uh, Bob Costa, reporter, is 30 years. He's 30 old. years old. Well, he's a young guy. Look, he's a young guy, and he, he has this quality which I think is the core of good reporting. He knows how to listen. Do you think that the standards of journalism covering the White House are as stringent as they were when you? and your partner were doing Watergate, Bernstein. Are the standards um, as stringent now as they were then? Because I don't you, think so. You just so. can't make a, a blanket declaration. Sometimes people, I, listen, I've written books about Obama, and I've been very tough on him and said he is, really hasn't figured out how to work his will uh, as president. Lots of people have done tough things on uh, President Obama, and uh, do we need to do more? Do we need to? I mean, you know, the essence of this is patience, and uh, I liked in your commentary the word discipline. Right. Having the discipline to get something, check it, talk to more people, go back to the original sources, and so forth. And in this New York Times story, uh, it, w it was one of these speeded up things, quite obviously, and uh, it, it, it didn't work. For it him, doesn't I'll tell look you what. very. It doesn't look very good. It and and look here's good. the Im Im important element in this. Real fast. What it does is it invites comparison between Trump and former President Bill Clinton, and we know in the case of Bill Clinton. Uh, he had a sexual relationship with a young intern in his White House. There are documented allegations of uh, actions by him toward women which were uh, coercive. All right, or but we've been through all on, that. I don't think we re need oh, to no, relitigate uh, that. But well, what I'm but saying to you is this, and I got to go because it's a live show and we got elections and all of that. Sure. You, as an editor, the editors of the New York Times, the editors of any newspaper, have to assign reporters who are as unbiased as they can be. Have to.